This is a regular Jeep, and this is a micro Jeep. And we're gonna survive overnight in this micro Jeep for the next 24 hours. In order to survive the night, we need to build the ultimate survival trailer to go along with it. Let's get building. Before we can build, we gotta have a plan. In order to build a proper micro camper, you need to add a hitch to the back of the Jeep because it doesn't come fabricated on. We need that. And then we need some sort of trailer. I don't know how many wheels we want. You know, we could do four, we could do five, six, or seven. Something like this looks pretty good. Samuel, what do you think? Yeah, sure. Uh, did you guys already get the trailer? We got the trailer. How wide is it? Not very wide. <laughs> Do you guys want to try to lay down on it? Oh! I'm not laying next to you. No worry, we can modify it. Bed trailer. There is a literal light bulb over my head. <laughs> if me and Andrew are both laying in here, that is too close for comfort. I would agree, it's way too close for comfort. We could expand the sides of it. Oh. Like it's got a little bit more of a tipping hazard. But no matter what we do, if we try to get two of you in there, it's gonna be a tipping hazard. Or you make it insanely like we are laying sideways. You see how the light bulb keeps switching from my head so to your So like, head? instead of laying this way, you'd be laying like right. this way. Do you have a better idea that, that than I, that? That's probably the worst idea. <laughs> yeah. right now you have the light bulb over your head. <laughs> Right, I like I like going out wide and maybe also bunk bed. Why don't we combine both ideas? Samuel is so happy. <laughs> <laughs> My brain's just constantly going like, wow, that's a really bad idea. All right, Samuel, I have several options for the micro camper addition. So option A, okay. we have just a, a simple, basic, normal camper. Option B, yeah, I think that's doable. we have the double decker bonanza. We easily both can fit. It's just a little higher, a little more risky. Okay. Option E is the train mod with two beds. Oh, that's fun. Yep. Or yeah. option mystery. Well, this one's clearly the best. Why? You're gonna have the least stability problems. This one would be the most fun, but definitely the most risky. So if we do this and we don't have the right balance, we can end up with our trailers just doing a fishtail thing. And if that happens, this last person is just gonna end up busting off and like flying out into the road, getting smashed by a car. Okay. Cool. Well, this was helpful. All the way just for some wiggle yeah, room. Just make sure that there's uh, I gotta find this the the video the, 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 their turning device. This goes like this perhaps. I answered my own question. If you guys are ever wondering which way the tire goes, look, the inflator is here. Probably goes on the outside. Two inches was not enough, so I'm going with three inches. Not moving at all. Yep, and I just gotta screw the wheels on tighter because they're not tight right now. And I'm not driving around town with no wheels. Dude, their wheel just came off. Where is it? Just it? hit the car. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they lost the wheel. <laughs> nice. You drive around with no wheels. How important are washers during a build project? They're pretty important because it keeps your spacing correct. Spacing? Yeah, so if your spacing is incorrect, you can get wobbles and things. Parts can rub in unfortunate ways that cause damage or breakage. Breakage? Yeah. Okay. I was just wondering. Okay. Seems a little interesting. Uh, you got all the washers on that? I broke it. Oh no. Oh gosh, you did break that. Well, it's a good thing your life's going to depend on it very soon. That one's... Well, never mind. I'm glad I'm not going to be on this trailer. The wheel's not coming off. That's all I know. We lost a tire! What? We're missing a tire! Where the heck did the tire I go? I don't know! Just pull over! Oh, I broke it again. Oh, dang it. Okay, I won't tighten the back ones as hard. Oh, broke it. Wait, seriously? <laughs> Oop. If you get off. The trailer base is assembled. Sawhorse. Now we just need one more exactly like it. Easy. That's the best thing you've ever built. Yeah, real funny. Ready to see how strong we are? Uh, 
Let's go in. Our own custom oh. car lift. We almost broke the Jeep. It's only like on the front by like this much. Oh gosh. That can be taken away, though. Oh no. There's current. So here's the idea to connect the hitch. We took off the tire here, and I think this can sit right here. We'll weld it on. What do you think about that, Sydney? The problem is that the trailer is gonna be offset. So the trailer is gonna be towed behind the passenger instead of in the center of the vehicle. I made a door. So there's this here. Cool. <laughs> is this even close to a good idea? This doesn't work. We're oh, gonna no, be so in trouble. Why? Because I can't pull the bolt out. You put it in backwards? I mean, no, because yes. then I can't screw it on. It'd be easier to take the whole handle, this handle off. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd have to get my tools again. Uh, get your tools. Go get your tools. Drug. So why are you removing it? So we can slide it into the hitch. Yeesh. We are literally Mr. Beast. <laughs> so far in this build, we're having multiple problems. We can't build keep the base. Up, keep talking. We, we can't build the base because the wood keeps breaking. We can't attach the trailer to the Jeep because the Jeep's not working. Will we figure it out? I don't know. Nope, I don't know. We, we need, have to. We we're need. not giving up, but we don't know what the finish line is. This is a bad idea for handle. Samuel, build a better one. Okay. Boys, and just like that. One of the issues down, one more to go. I can fix it. Whoa! How did it get in there? <laughs> A ladder. I mean, yeah, we'll probably have to. There's our, our entrance into the cabin. This is a trailer, not a cabin. <laughs> Rick, Seriously. make it a cabin. Rick, do this. Rick, do that. No! Rick, turn it into whatever you want. It's green. No! I wonder what he turned it into. Oh. <laughs> We're in the last stage of completion, but we just locked the only way in somehow. We put a latch so you could lock it from the inside, but we closed it and it latched itself. So the only way in is through this hatch that is now currently locked from the inside. Gravity, man. You can see the black latch yeah, the there. It went down. down. That's why I only put one screw in there. Yeah, you knew this would happen. Yeah. <laughs> We're about to do the maiden voyage, the test voyage. If the test is a success, we will begin the survival challenge. I've noticed one curious detail, which may be an issue later. When you turn, it's not like it turns with it. It turns, locks, and then just slides it. trailer are done and ready to hit the road. Andrew, you ready? I'm ready. We're gonna be driving all around town. We're gonna be surviving the night in this micro trailer. Let the overnight begin. Oh, thankfully we have seat belts in this. Yeah, I don't know what I would do without it. Oh geez, I need more room. I have a feeling we're gonna get a lot of looks today. This thing does have turn signals as well. All right, here we go. One interesting overnight. Oh, oh, oh. First stop on the agenda is to get a nice uh, road beverage. Oh. 
So there's a coffee shop right over here, Dutch Bros. I think we're gonna go there. Okay, we're pretty good. Maybe the sidewalk isn't the best option. Well, yeah, we are a vehicle. Yeah, so we need to go there, but the sidewalk has, it's too, not as wide. Hey, ah! this is a sidewalk. First red light. I love this. What's that smell? Don't know. Oh, <laughs> it's either burning gas or e-brake on fire. <laughs> So far, I'm uh, pretty pleased with how this is working. This is, we've only been doing the challenge for a few minutes now, but I'm already, expectations were down here. Reality is up here. I love this, you guys doing a TV show? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, good. Are we okay? Yeah, we're, we're making a documentary about our travels. Oh, good. Okay. Now <laughs> yeah, you guys pull up and I'm like, there's a little Jeep, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Refreshing. Now we're. Oh. Uh, more bike lanes. I need to figure out where food is around here. And also, one question we need to figure out the answer to is how far can this thing go on a full tank of gas? If we run out of gas, that's not gonna be good. Pretty good. Hi. <laughs> we have a little trunk back here, so I can put my drink. That's one thing we're missing. We're, we're missing uh, cup holders. Oh yeah. If we had like a cup holder here or something, that would be very helpful. Why didn't we think about modding this more? Yeah, yeah. cup holders would have been good. That's about it. Guys, we just hit a new top speed of 60 kilometers an hour. It's got to be 20 at least. At least. And the trailer is still here. That's actually insane. I'm glad the weather today isn't snowing or raining. It's a beautiful day, like 70 degrees. Yeah, it actually feels really nice driving. Yeah. The sun's hot, but the wind makes it feel relaxing. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. You're good. What is this? We micro Jeep, and then we built the trailer here. Oh, I like the little uh, bomb doodle dude on this yeah. side. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, thanks. Yeah. neighborhood market bread and butter when you're on the road a must-have is a bag of chips so got to pick the best flavor coffee chocolates got the bag of goods we're gonna be set for a while 
so I acquired some sunglasses to help with the road wind. Now I can see when we drive, it's not so windy and the dust blowing in my face. Thankfully, this trailer, we can easily store anything we purchase. I am curious about tonight though. There's a chicken sandwich shop just up the road that I wanna go to for lunch. Ooh, that's the best part about just driving around, getting food, is finding food. That's the best part. <laughs> as fun as driving down the main road is, the alleyways are more direct and less traffic. Yeah, it definitely feels safer on the alleyways. <laughs> Apparently, our trailer, when we start going really fast, is like wobbling. That would be the worst if it just flipped and we have nowhere to sleep now. Yeah, that would be the worst. So our new rule is trying to keep it under 40 kilometers an hour, all right? Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Great find. I guess we gotta pay for parking. Yeah, I guess so. Lunch is right up the street. It's nice to actually get out and walk. It gets a little cramped sitting in there for long periods of time. Yeah. What's the farthest road trip you would go in that thing? A couple hours away. <laughs> Good thing the amount of likes don't matter on this video. Like if the more likes, the more miles we have to drive, you know? That would oh, be horrible. Oh, that's, that's kind of a cool challenge though. Yeah, but good thing that's not the challenge, yeah, right guys? You can still leave a like though, just in case we do that challenge. B-roll shot. Thank you. <laughs> that looks pretty good. It's pretty hot. Burning hand. I got Italian sandwich. Even even though we've been not really doing anything physical, I'm very hungry. We've well, really been sitting in the vehicle the entire time. I haven't had any food yet, so yeah, me hungry. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Jeez, but it didn't get stolen, so that's good. That is very good news. Lunch was great, now it's time to drive around some more. Did we mention it's 70 degrees out? It is phenomenal. It is surprisingly, insanely fun driving this thing. It's a little nervous driving it on like roads, but in general, like I feel like a kid again getting to drive this oh. thing. Epic. Yeah, <laughs> Their wheel just came off. We lost a tire! What? We're missing a tire! Where? To pull over! Where the heck did the tire I go? I don't know! Just pull over! Okay, I'm probably on the way. You're kidding me? No, I'm not kidding. We're missing a tire. I don't know where it is. Huh? There's a tire missing! <laughs> I was like, it definitely feels a subtly different. Yeah, but like, since when did it feel different? I don't know. You found, you, you saw lost, our wheel? You lost the wheel. It's back there in the intersection. Do you see it? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah I do okay. see it. Oh, yeah, thank you. Okay, I would I was trying to yell at you to let you know, but the noise of your vehicle there was drowning me. Oh, out. yeah, it was loud. Thank you so right, much. Oh, 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 someone just hit the tire. Oh, oh God. hurry. Oh, it's rolling away. The tire is rolling down the wheel of the street. We have a mission. We have to get our tire back. Our tire. Hurry. Where is it? It went rolling down the, it went rolling this way. The tire disappeared. I really thought rolling this way. It's not a proper J Stu episode until something goes wrong. I'm just glad that the trailer entirely didn't break. It was able to still continue driving because we had multiple tires on it. The tire literally disappeared. I am flabbergasted. Where is it? We saw the tire rolling down the road. I sprinted after it. It was probably like 10 seconds later and now the wheel is gone. There's only two things that could have happened. It could have like bounced and went flying somewhere over here or someone jumped out and grabbed it real quick. Yeah, maybe they did that. It's not that big of a wheel. It's actually very small. So we are getting the trailer to pick up the micro Jeep because we have some major issues that need to be addressed. I think we need to get an, a brand new tire to replace it and get out of the city. I'm glad you're back. What happened? I think the Lord gave me an insane idea of what happened to the tire because I found it. But the story what? is so bizarre, it's hard to even believe. What happened? <laughs> I was walking back because you went that way and I went this way and I was walking next to the Goodyear tire shop and I noticed the garage door was about this much open. And I was like, what are the odds the tire, because we saw it rolling, somehow made a right turn, rolled up the driveway and into their garage. So I walked in there and asked them if I could take a look and sure enough, the tire was in their shop, in the tire shop. <laughs> what? No way. What? <laughs> Whoa! Dude, what in the world? All we gotta do is just bend that back a little bit and I think it's good to go. The garage is barely open, so it just... I know. It was like, the garage was only that much open, so the tire somehow rolled from the road into their tire shop. 
<laughs> That's insane. I'm glad we solved the mystery. The idea is so bizarre that <laughs> there's no way it was my idea. <laughs> Since the tire ended up in the Goodyear tire shop, we're actually gonna drive over there and see if they can put the tire back on for us. Should be an easy fix. I mean, it's a wagon wheel. It's not like a real tire, so yay. Trailer still works. Yeah. I mean, this thing is. Whoa! Holy cow! It's going everywhere. It's crazy how one wheel falls off, just completely discompobulates the trailer itself. Yeah. That's nuts. The tire was sitting right there. That's crazy. We were literally just talking about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It looks just like the little engines that are on the old dirt bikes and truck trucks and stuff. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool, man. And just like that, we have a brand new tire installed. Check this out. <laughs> We're ready to continue the adventure. How about, Andrew, you get in the trailer and I'll drive you around. Easy work, I have a snack I want anyways. Okay, also it's now changed weather-wise. It's cold and windy now. So the only way in is through this hatch. And you kind of have to climb in, so. Oh! oh. Just do not go 60 kilometers an hour with me. Okay, I won't. Yeah, hopefully this doesn't flip. What? All right, bye. Bye. You ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Just another mod for the micro jeeps. We need some music. Let's go get a yeah. speaker from Best Buy. It's actually pretty comfy back here. Like when you're a kid, you get pulled around in the wagon or your parents are struggling. That's what this feels like. Whoa! And maybe your parents are trying to purposely tip over the wagon so you crash and hurt yourself. That's what this is. And here we are. Best Buy's got what we need. Let's do it. Ah, now we're talking. Are we thinking we want one that fits kind of in our trunk? Yeah, that'd probably be helpful. That way it doesn't bounce out of the vehicle. Yeah. Once we get this speaker installed, we're gonna be turning heads left and right. We got a cool speaker too, check it out. This is so fun. Also, we've been driving around all day and we haven't run out of gas yet, but I'm imagining we're gonna run out soon. So I think our next stop is a gas station. So I think we want it in the back here, right? That's why we picked this size so it can fit right in the trunk. Uh -huh. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, it actually sounds like a good sound system. All right, let's go get some gas. I just want to check out I guess we're gonna see just how much it costs to fill up the micro jeep. I'm guessing we're gonna spend three dollars and seventy-two cents. I'll say a dollar fifty. Isn't it already full? <laughs> how? We've been driving all day. All right, let's see the damage. A whole eighty-nine cents. I'd say this is a pretty good deal. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Good call. That thing is getting dirty. So we've been on the main roads for quite some time now, but I think it's time we test the off-road capabilities of the micro jeep. The tire looks to be okay. That's good, because we're pulling up to our next drive-through, a, a fast food drive-through, Raisin Canes. Yes. Howdy, howdy, we're gonna get thirsty today. Hey, can we get a three-finger combo and a water? Three-finger combo with a water, anything else to eat today? Nah, that'll hit perfectly. All right, uh, three-finger combo Smiles to everyone's faces. It's phenomenal. Hello. Yo, what a pig. Hey, yeah, thanks. Never, never seen a car like this pull up. That's, that's actually pretty funny. I know. Oh, yeah. Hey. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Yeah. Oh no oh, way! Like hey. the box for 
videos and all the toilet paper. Yeah. Board. Yeah. Say hey. Hey. Good. <laughs> you good. John. What's your name? Ian. I'm Bobby. Ian and Bobby. Yeah. yeah. It's a pleasure, man. Thanks yeah. for watching the content. Yeah, of course. Yeah, love you guys. Yeah. yeah, later. The wilderness. We've made it to off road. You can tell by the dirt. We're going straight that way. We're gonna see just what capabilities this has. We got a lot of hills ahead of us, bumps, rocks. This could be good or bad. We just cannot allow the trailer to completely destroy. That's where we're staying the night. Yeah, we've went all day with only a lost wheel. I'm fine if that's the only bad thing that happens. If anything else catastrophic happens, that's basically where we're gonna be staying the night, so. Here goes nothing. Up the mountain we go. Oh gosh, our first bump. And we're just going up the hill. Oh, oh. Okay, we're good. That was that was easy. That was easy. Okay, that was better than I thought. There's someone else camping up here. Nice. One thing we have to keep in mind though is we don't have unlimited gas. The further up the mountain we go, the more in danger we are. We do have the back of gas tank here, but yeah, it's not a whole lot. And the wind is getting bad. Whoa! We better not blow over our trailer. Oh yeah. Where'd my sunglasses go? Yeah, good call. I grabbed something from the store I don't think you know about. What is that? The superfood cookie. Banana bread? I don't know. What? It's either that or pocket lattes. I grabbed something. Two Mexican wedding cookies. These are so good. Mm. It better not rain. Yeah. Mm. Hope mm. not. Mm. 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 We're gonna keep heading up the mountain and hopefully find a spot where we can set up camp for the night because I don't know about these clouds. Onward! Coming? Yeah! Flip avoided. That was close. Ah! <laughs> I'm standing on the front. Whoa! This thing is actually very powerful. Ah! Yes! This is awesome. It's so fun being out here, guys. Wish you were here in person. Rock! Oh, oh my! Oh God. no! Guys, another real life Jeep is coming up in front of us. We're getting pretty high up on the mountain now into the woods. I think we're gonna try and find a spot somewhere around here maybe to set up camp. Yeah, maybe by a tree so we're covered from the elements. Yeah. In we go. Ooh. Yeah. Color lights? Kidding me? Okay, hang on. Before we get in, let's organize. And guys, we both have not been in this cabin at the same time yet. So hopefully it's not too crammed, but we're about to find out. Oh, no way. What? I totally forgot. We have raising canes for dinner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, I'm I'm going in first. Okay, we took the step. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, our fireplace fell over. There we go. I don't even know what. <sighs> Maybe sitting on this one isn't that the best idea. All right, this is as good as it's gonna get. Really? Yep. Okay. Oh, can you see the stars? Look, guys. Currently, no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so I should like run and jump in? If you want to break it. <laughs> I don't want to break our only bed on the top of the mountain. That would be awful. <laughs> I told Samuel the other ideas we could have made were uh, maybe been bigger uh, if we did train mod. Nobody wants to do, do that. Oh, okay. When you're actually sitting down, this is uh, not bad. So okay, closing the hatch. Yeah, close it and lock it because there are bears up here. We don't need them breaking in. And Somehow our latch doesn't latch anymore. Like how far off that is? 
Oh, probably because of the bumps. We have to get it closed. We can't sleep with the door open. We don't want to be exposed, do we? Yeah, We're gonna yeah. fix this. We have our tools here. I'm just gonna disconnect the arms so the hatch closes. Thank you. Oh. Yep. It works. That's way better. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Uh, Safety at last. Yes. Uh, well, now that we're inside, I'm taking my shoes off. Yeah. I can give you a tour. Right here, we have the fireplace that actually doesn't put out any heat. It's just decoration, cool vibes, which that's pretty cool. We have two sleeping bags and two Yeti blankets for warmth, multiple lights, and a shelf cubby. Right there are some goods. Oh, yes. I've been waiting for this. Oh, beverage. You have one, right? Yeah. Oh, things probably have been bouncing around back here. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. It's actually pretty comfy in here. I know. Why didn't we pack any games? Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do have one thing. Speaker. Oh, yeah. I, oh, what's yeah. something like interesting we could listen to? Uh, scary sounds. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we have to uh, now. Okay, fine. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> there was an echo fart sound effect, no copyright. <laughs> That's what you have to search and you can play it. Play, uh, actually. Do the bass boosted farts. <laughs> I'm gonna play Sasquatch call sounds. Ooh. <laughs> People, if they heard that in the woods, and do the big wah, 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 wah. Imagine someone walking by our camper and hearing those sounds. I'd run immediately. Yeah, I guess we're, we're probably the scariest thing in the woods right now. Yeah. Sasquatch ain't coming over here. It's getting a little colder, so time to get this out. Whoa. The Mega Yeti blanket. This thing is pretty huge. Both of ours are gonna take up this entire thing. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, that's nice. What? <laughs> I'm really curious how like warm it's gonna be in here or how cold it's gonna be in here. It's a pretty warm day, so I'm not too worried about it, but it could get pretty chilly. Yeah, let me check the weather. Low of 34. Ooh. That's almost freezing. Okay, scratch what I just said. <laughs> and uh, supposed to be high wind warning. Oh, great. Tomorrow. So it better not come tonight, otherwise we're gonna be blown away for sure. I don't wanna blow away in this, go tumbling down the mountain. Yeah, that would not be okay. Right. It's severe wind, high wind warning. What? Significant threat to life or property. Oh. Gusts of up to 70 miles an hour. Huh? What? Not tonight, right? No. Oh. Oh gosh. That, I mean, that's enough to knock trees over and then they collapse on our house. Yep. It says damaged winds will blow down trees and power lines. Widespread power outages are expected. Travel will be difficult. Uh-oh. <laughs> Can you imagine if me, you, and Isaac were in here? I'm trying to imagine, but it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was that sound? Open up the hatch. <laughs> Yeah, but you can hear things. What was that? You got the door! <laughs> Whatever it is, it's gotta go. We need to go explore that sound, so it's time for a night drive, because the Mini Jeep does have lights on it, thankfully. I agree, a little midnight night drive. Never hurt anybody yep. that I know of. It could hurt us, though. We'll see. Ooh. Yes. This is either a good idea or horrendous idea. Remember where we're going so we don't get lost either. Oh, that's a good point.
Was exhilarating. Something smell like it's burning. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Did you turn the e-brake off? Uh, I thought, but maybe not. Back into the trailer. We're gonna figure out what sleeping looks like in here. <laughs> yeah, if you're on whichever side and yeah. I'm on the opposite side, opposites. Right. That's the most room and usage of the space. I'll be on the right side. My right? My right. My left. <laughs> All right. Oh, my shoes are on. Do you sleep with your shoes on? No. <laughs> I'm not. We're, we're not going to be able to fully lay down. So bent knees are probably going to be the only way to make this work like this. You know, Samuel said that he was building this at six foot exactly. And I said, is there any reason why we can't extend it three inches? Oh, wait, six foot? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can do that. What ah! that? Yes. Ah! <laughs> You're on my blanket! Here, hold this. Sleeping bag first. I'm not freezing to death out here. <laughs> it might actually be hot. I'm here. already sweaty, so I'm not super worried, I guess. How's that? Uh, actually, it's not bad. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, like I, this is. I right. was real worried that this was gonna be just way too small, but it's like almost on the brink of being too small. But it's just fine for the two of us for tonight. Yeah, just tonight. Yeah, this isn't a permanent solution. <laughs> Guys, if you made it this far in the video, leave a like if you haven't already. We're begging. Whoa, red vibes. Sometimes people sleep with the red lights on, right? Mm -hmm. Not us. <laughs> Good night, everyone. We'll see you in the morning. <coughs> Good morning, New York. Sure is bright in here in the morning. Yeah, I kind of like it though. I mean, it gets you up, but... What's for breakfast? Something good. I found it. Ah, uh, pocket latte. Oh. Yes. Hey, do you notice something? There's no wind. That's... At least at the concerning. current... The current second. <laughs> we didn't blow over. What the heck is this? Is this a block of chocolate? Oh, it looks kind of weird. Mmm. Why does it sound so crunchy? It's probably frozen a little bit. <laughs> oh, I can taste the coffee. This is insane. It's like having a coffee in the morning. You good? Mmm. All right, let's get back down this mountain before we potentially blow away. Yeah. That... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all we have left. Drive down the mountain. Let's get rolling. Yeah. Ow. Ow, my foot. Ah. Again. <laughs> the back tire now fell off. That's two down. Uh. Oops. 